is that the family of the deceased are spending thousands of pounds. And you know when I say thousands, I'm not even exaggerating. Seriously, go and ask the catering companies who supply foods for khatams in masjids. They have uh, sweet rice, uh, brown rice, they have roast, they have drinks, they have samosas, pakoras, everything, you name it. It's like a wedding. It's like a party. Then we were thinking, okay, we have to cook 11 foods. We have to have, make sure there's this food and that food. And we have to put uh, the most favorite foods of our loved one who passed away. Where is this from? And now, you know, people have made it a competition. That's what makes it even worse. They've made a competition. They say, oh, so-and-so family had X, Y, and Z dishes in their khatams. We have to have X, Y, and Z, and we have to outdo them. And thousands and thousands of pounds are spent on that food. And a lot of it goes into the bins. And the, the problem here, again, is many families have in the past week spoken to me and said, oh my God, we were so worried about the 40th khatam that we have to call all of the people of the village and all of the relatives. It's like a wedding. And then we, were, we had to cook so many different dishes and... We weren't worried about recitation of the Qur'an or any Isali Sawab, nothing like that. All our worry was we have to feed the people properly so that they don't go and say, oh, look, it was their father, mother's khatam and look how they fed us so poorly. That's all, we're, that's all we've ended up with is just eating. That's it. And the scholars have said to make uh, a particular day, specify a particular day such that the entire community then starts to believe there has to be a khatam on the fourth day, this is bid'ah. This is an innovation. To have it on the fourth day is fine. But, then to, or, but the problem is to think, if we don't do it, we're doing something wrong. This is what a bid'ah is. This is what an innovation is. Is that clear? Let's say, what if on the fourth day, People, somebody doesn't choose to have a khatam on the fourth day, doesn't recite the whole Qur'an on that day, chooses a different day. You know what happens? Then the family start ringing. Uh, why didn't you do the fourth khatam? Why, why are you guys doing? How come you never do the khatam? Oh, you don't want to feed people on the soul of your parents? This is what the bid'ah is. There is no concept of khatam on the 40th day in Islam. Make that clear cut. There is no concept. There is no hadith. And there is no tradition from the peop earlier people. Even when I was in Syria, I remember our teacher, Sheikh Hassan al-Hindi, uh, one student said to him after his grandmother passed away, oh, the women in our house are getting ready to do the 40th. And the Sheikh, he became angry and his face went red. He said, la asla lahu. There is no origin for this. And there is no precedence for this in the Sharia that something specifically has to be done on the 40th day. There's no precedence for it whatsoever. Is that clear? He said he took an order from a family and they ordered so much food. My father said, are you sure you need that much food? And the family of the deceased said, well, we don't want it to be less. And then people say, oh, look, they didn't feed us properly. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. Then my father said the same people came back the next day and made an, another enormous order. And my father said to them, but didn't you have food left from yesterday? They said, yes. But we're not going to feed them. My father said, well, I can eat yesterday's food. What's the issue? He said, no, 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 no. We have to have a new dish today. Fresh food for people today. And he's like, are you sure? The pre yesterday's food, what's going to happen to it? It's just going to go to waste, thrown in bins and skips. And that's risk. But people are not bothered. See, when what happens is, whenever a people move away from the sunnah way and enter into a bid'ah, then that bid'ah just starts getting bigger and bigger and it brings more and more complications as it evolves. And that's exactly what's happened.